Hey guys, today we have a MacBook Air 13 inch A1466 model. Uh, this machine came in with no power. It's been looked at by our front end techs um, and it's been deemed a board level problem. We can see there's no fan spin and we're drawing 36 milliamps. So the first thing we're gonna do in this case, uh, we're just gonna take a measurement on the main power rail, PP bus G3 hot. So we're actually getting zero volts on PP bus. Next thing I'll do is unplug power to the machine, switch the multimeter to, we'll use diode mode. We're gonna, in this, on this uh, setting, we're gonna use red probe on ground and measure. And we actually identify a full short to ground on PP bus G3 hot. This is where we were measuring PP bus. Uh, so this is where we found our short. So the next thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna, um, going to inject uh, some voltage into the PP bus G3 hotline. So looks like we found something. right here and now what we're going to do <coughs> is use um, free spray to identify the exact uh, component that's heating up Yeah, so right there, looks like it's our issue. So C7431, looks like this, uh, is, uh, this capacitor here is short to ground. So at this point, it looks like we have identified the problem, a capacitor on the computing sense line uh, is short to ground. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that component and then test and see if the short is relieved. And if it is, we're going to test the machine and hopefully we get a fan spin and it boots right up. All right, back over to the overhead view here. We grab our multimeter, set in diode mode, and we measure. The short is relieved. We can check on PP bus. And we get a normal diode mode reading on PP bus G3 hot. So at this point, um, I can connect a known good. IO board and flex and fan. Let's see if this fan starts spinning. Okay. So after removing the short, and we hook up to DC power supply, we're still getting the same 36 milliamps, but if we switch to voltage mode readings and we measure PP bus G3 hot, we're now getting 0.7 volts. We should be getting like 8.6. Should be getting this reading here on the other side of that. Um, um, that's the... The other side of that fuse, we have a uh, PP VBAT. But we should be getting the same reading for PP bus. We are not. So this is where PP bus G3 hot is created and sent to the system. Actually goes right through that, um, that fuse. So this fuse um, if we switch to the display screen quickly, um, is located 
right here, F7140. On one side we have PP bus G3 hot, the main power rail to the machine, on the, and on this side we have PP VBAT. Um, if we look at the schematics over here, we can see that this is the point where PP bus G3 hot goes to the rest of the system. And we notice that when we take our measurement here on this side, which is VBAT, we get that 8.6 volts, which is correct. But on this side, we're getting 0.8 volt. So after we're leaving the short, uh, we do have voltage on PP bus G3 hot, but it is incorrect voltage. So we have the correct voltage on this side. We should be getting the same voltage on this side. So what we can do, I'm um, going to turn off the power supply. We're going to switch to, <coughs> sorry, we're gonna switch to continuity mode because this is a fuse that we want continuity on. And if we connect on each side, We get a beep, but not a consistent beep. See, right now we don't have a beep. We should have a beep. So I want to say that this fuse is damaged. If we, for example, take a known good board, like I have here, this is just a, a donor board. Um, but if we put it under the scope above our customer board, that's the same fuse, and we go in continuity mode, we get consistent um, continuity. But on our customer board, we are not getting continuity. It's letting something through though, we're getting 0.8 volts. So at this point, it's safe to assume that the fuse is damaged. We're going to replace the fuse and see what we get. All right, fuse is in place. Quickly check continuity. Perfect. So now that the fuse is installed and we've tested that there is good continuity on it, we are ready to once again test the machine, hooking it up to power. And we are hoping that this time we do get a fan spin and the machine turns on. Let's try it out. All right, hooking up DC power supply. And we have a fan spin. Awesome. So before we finish up here, I'm just gonna switch back to the scope view. And we're going to install uh, this component here. So now that we've relieved that short and we've replaced the damaged fuse, we have our DC power supply on here. When we hook it up, we can see that we have a normal current draw. And if you look here, you can see the fan is spinning um, and it looks like the machine is working normally. So the next step here is we're going to grab the housing, uh, put the machine in, pop in the SSD and see if we can get to the login screen, see if everything's working correctly. All right. So the MacBook is working following the repairs. We can see over here on the DC power supply, 
that we have normal current draw and the machine is working, it's charging, everything looks good. So we're gonna pass this off to our front end techs to run some final tests and then we can call the customer and let them know that their device is ready for pickup. I'm gonna switch over to the display screen and we're going to run a quick recap of the repair. So the machine came in uh, not turning on. Um, when we looked at the board, everything looked absolutely perfect. The first thing we did was hook it up to our DC power supply and we saw that we were getting around 35 milliamps, which is obviously not what we wanna see. So the first thing we checked was the main power rail of the machine, which is PP bus G3 hot. We noticed zero volts and a full short to ground. Next, we used thermal camera and injected voltage into the line and we identified that over here on C7431, this capacitor on PP bus S5HS computing was shorted out and causing the short to ground. So we removed that cap, the short was gone, but we still weren't getting um, the machine to turn on. PP bus G3 hot was measuring at 0.8 volts. Um, the next thing we checked was the fuse itself because this is actually where PP bus G3 hot is sent to the rest of the system. It comes from here and we noticed that on this side of the fuse we had a correct 8.6 volt reading. So we checked the fuse in continuity mode and noticed it was not getting continuity. The fuse was damaged. So we replaced the fuse and that solved the problem. PP bus G3 hot was restored. We reinstalled that capacitor and the machine booted up normally and is fully functional. So that wraps up the repair. I hope you learned something in today's video. Please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next on the channel. If you're new, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.